as I walk these fields and think about the enormous cost that this battle was, Battle of Antietam. At the end of the day's fighting, over 23,000 men will be either dead or wounded or missing. Highest single day in American loss of life in American history. More than any other, any other war we had all combined. More than four times the amount of men we lost during the Normandy invasion in 1944. Now McClellan lost 2,000 killed, another 10,000 wounded. Lee lost over 10,000. But for General Lee, that was over a quarter of his army. At the end of this, Lee pulled back to Sharpsburg, waited for an attack that never came. McClellan still held a strong numerical advantage. He had over 20,000 fresh troops that hadn't even been engaged in the battle. Did absolutely nothing with them true to form. He sat there and waited, gave the uh, initiative to the other side to do whatever they thought they should do, and McClellan once again did absolutely nothing. And on the night of the 18th, Lee snuck out with the Army of Northern Virginia, went across, back across the Potomac into the safety of Virginia. Lincoln, needless to say, was furious. He ordered McClellan, go after him, go after him, go after him. You can completely capture him. McClellan, if he'd taken the advantage, could have surrounded Lee, ended the war in the East, and perhaps ended the war. But because McClellan, true to form, chose to sit back and wait, Lee escaped, and the war would go on for three more years. So Lincoln pushed McClellan to finally go and finally go. McClellan didn't get his army across the Potomac after Lee for another 19 days. Well, we know where that leads next. By this time, Lincoln had had enough, and he permanently relieved George, um, George McClellan of command. And the one he put in place was the one of the, who was actually in charge of Burnside's bridge that day, General Ambrose Burnside, a rather shy and modest man who really shied away from grand responsibility. You'll see how that goes in the next major battle. So there you go.